Hi, my name is Dr. Christopher Keary. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist and I work with the Angelman Syndrome program at Mass General Hospital for Children in Boston. I'm a psychiatrist there and a researcher with a clinical interest in quality of care um, and improving quality of life for people with Angelman Syndrome and other developmental disabilities. I want to talk a little bit about my research which has been funded by the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. Uh, my study is going to be looking at anxiety in people with Angelman Syndrome, children and adults. Uh, a lot is known about the fact that anxiety is a problem in Angelman Syndrome, but not a lot is known about how severe the problem is, how prevalent it is, how anxiety can present in people with Angelman Syndrome, and how severe it is. Uh, my study is going to be using a multimodal approach to try to answer these questions by interviewing people with Angelman Syndrome, their families, their caregivers, uh, to understand these questions better. Uh, we will use a multimodal approach where we will use both standardized assessments for people with developmental disabilities and limited expressive language, uh, other assessment tools that look for anxiety symptoms that may not have been tested in people with developmental disabilities, but we're hoping will still be useful in some ways. And then also more open-ended questions uh, so that family members and caregivers can describe how anxiety may look in their loved one with Angelman syndrome. Um, we are also looking to see whether or not anxiety will correlate with uh, the uh, genetic inheritance type that someone developed with Angelman syndrome. My hope is that this research will raise awareness about anxiety for clinicians who take care of people with Angelman syndrome, that it will empower them to know how best to assess for anxiety symptoms, and that ultimately will lead to treatment studies where they can come up with a standardized way to assess anxiety and whether or not a treatment, whether it was a medication or a behavioral intervention, whether it was effective. So thank you for your interest in uh, my research and your support for the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. I look forward to sharing the results of my research soon. My name is Mark Nespeka. I'm a child neurologist and a member of the Scientific Advisory Committee of the Angelman Syndrome Foundation. And I'm delighted that through your generous donations and support, the ASF has been able to fund the research of Dr. Chris Carey into anxiety disorders in individuals with Angelman Syndrome. Why is this important? Well, parents may ask me when they come and see me or tell me about their child who's having a lot of anxiety and how this can really be a negative impact on their family life. They may ask me what kind of studies have been done to let us know what are the most effective ways of dealing with this. And the answer that I can give them now is that we don't really have any good studies that tell us what's really effective. Dr. Keary's study is going to be a crucial first step in defining the prevalence and the nature of anxiety disorders in individuals with Angelman syndrome. He's going to be using scales that have been validated in other individuals with developmental disabilities as well as the general population to see how well these apply to persons with Angelman syndrome. It's only after we can define the problem and have a measure of that problem that we can then try to design interventional trials to see what's going to be the most effective therapy and thereby be able to help individuals with Angelman syndrome and their families have a better quality of life in the future.